Well, uh, I had watched Tubal Kane's video a little while back about these guys. Uh, handy dandy automatic punch. And I really like them, you know. It's, they're really nice when you've blued something up and have laid it out to just come in and find where you're going to drill your hole and get a nice punch mark. Um, but I always, and usually I'll do that if I'm going to drill a few times to get it deeper for a small drill. For a larger drill, I do usually have to come in with a center punch and a hammer and give it a good whack or two to get a nice punch mark for the drill to start. But I had kind of been wanting a automatic punch that would hit a little bit harder. So I had this cheapy one, and uh, still got some work to do on it, but it does hit significantly harder. I don't think the camera's picking it up. And one of the reasons for that is I actually took it apart and replaced the hammer in it. So the idea was that uh, if I could get a, a hammer with a little bit more mass, it would hit a little bit harder. And it worked. So we'll unscrew that. And you see, here's the new hammer. Uh, I just made that out of a little piece of drill rod. Uh, pretty simple little part to make but it's got all this extra mass first off it's longer so we've got about an extra quarter of an inch on the body uh, and then secondly it's also got this extension on here which acts as a guide rod and uh, rides inside the spring and it was made actually long enough that I drilled a little hole in the uh, back of the cap here to clear it. So, seems to work fairly good. Uh, this is a cheapy, you know, auto punch I think I, I got from uh, the tool supply by my work. I, I think it was like six dollars. And uh, it's really not that great. Uh, this this steel that this tip is made out of is a little bit soft. And something else I was thinking about doing was I'll unscrew this to show you. Uh, see, there's the tip right there, and it's just got it's just a piece of straight rod with a taper on the end to a point and. Got a little E-ring on the back there and a groove. That'd be pretty simple to make. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a piece of drill rod and uh, turning a little groove in it and grinding the end and uh, and give it a good heat treat. And I'll have something that really acts uh, as a pretty good punch. You know, this is kind of blunted. Even though I haven't, I haven't really used it that much, to be honest. Uh, so, anyways, it just goes back in there. We got that thing. And uh, if you haven't seen it, watch uh, Tubal Kane's video on automatic punches, and he explains all how this how this works. But that's not, that's my little modification on that. You know, I wanted to add that this is the, uh, you know, this modification is really, it's really very simple. And I turned this, it only took me, you know, probably 15 minutes of work to knock that out, you know. <laughs> um... It did make the punch work quite a bit better also. Uh, you see, 
I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but that's a pretty rough finish on this. And uh, I got a pretty smooth finish on the face of mine. Uh, yeah, and you'll understand why that might help it if you go watch Tubal Kane's video. Uh, and the nice thing about this is it didn't require me to put a stronger spring in, which might be the first thing, and it was the first thing that I thought to make the thing hit harder, but, uh, you know, it's already got this really stiff spring in there, so, but that's, that's the stock spring right there that came with it, uh, you know, this is a much better quality center punch, this is kind of the one that I prefer usually, uh, and it's got a, a completely different system on it internally to uh, make it work. Um, maybe I'll show that in a future video because I don't think that Tubal Kane in his video covered this system the way that this particular one works. But he did he did cover quite well how this type works, which is kind of the more common type, anyways. So. I think that about does it for this video, and, uh, you know, if you like these, please do like them. Uh, questions or comments, well, you know, you know what to do with that. And uh, if you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.